Hello guys, welcome to Java Studio. Hope you guys are doing fine. And today our topic of discussion will be how does Australia still owes Canada a piece of land? Actually, I was researching about this news and I found really interesting points about that. So I would love to share it with you guys. The western coast of Canada is more than 7,000 miles away from the edge of Australia as you guys know from the world map, right? But the world map hasn't always been that way. Yeah, this is the point. Researchers at Curtin University in Australia published a study in geology which found out that more than a billion years ago, a chunk of present-day Canada broke away from the fledging North American continent and smashed into Australia. This is like, this is just a history, right? Uh, but geologists are never wrong. They even found out a proof. Well, that chunk of land is present day as named Georgetown in Queensland, Australia. The collision produced a mountain range in northern Australia, although a relatively small one. The same type of land masses collision created the Himalayas in India. Even uh, these uh, mountain ranges were created because of some collisions of the plates. Um, so this is like the same one, but with much greater force creating a larger range than that's still growing taller today. Uh, this is actually, I'm talking about the Himalayas. Um, the researchers at Curtin University look at new sediment data from the Georgetown and the neighboring regions and realizing that the rock record didn't match the rest of Australian continent. Yeah, the whole Australian continent. It just did not match with it but it did match with areas of canada so this is the breaking news right the earth crust which contains its mass and the ocean floors isn't static like this is what i'm telling you about the plates how does uh, these plates work and where are they under the earth surface and uh, think of each plate like a puzzle except that uh, pieces can overlap and move and there isn't one correct alignment because those plates are always moving the arrangement of continents and oceans has been in flux over the last several billion years the seven distinct continents we know and we love them today though to have started off as an one giant landmass called Penidia, nearly 300 million, million years ago. Eventually, the land mass broke apart as plates, shifted pulling piece of the supercontinent in different directions. You might recall some of this from your childhood school memories, right? This is just the knowledge I am giving you guys, because the, this is what we have learned in our school ages. This is the second major geological discovery coming out about Australia in the, this e in the last year. Last February, researchers belonging from New Zealand published findings such as the island country. Yeah, the island country Australia is really a massive underwater continent. So Australia is a, a loving country and I love Australia. But the thing is, Australia is a... Uh, water island and it 100% I'm sure that it contains some of which uh, some of the secrets which have not been discovered yet so this is this was the news from me and uh, thank you guys for watching and if you like the news please share the video like it and subscribe for my channel thank you